have tied the hockey game here just a minute and 38 seconds into the second period. Yeah, again, it all started with uh, obviously creating that interference in front of the net. I don't think Ryan had a chance to even see that. Now along the far wall, back to Mikowski. Watch down the slot, shoots, rebound by Lynch. Oh, what a save by Massa. Great effort by the goaltender. Could have easily been a 2-1 Green Bay lead right now. to get something going. Here's a giveaway. Anders Lee, look out, centers for Carlson, and he put it well wide of the net. And it comes back off the glass. And Ryan Massa makes the save from behind his shoulder. How about that? The force hockey on the fans. It's been a great season of hockey at the Urban Place Center. If you've been attending games all season long, now's the time to grab season tickets. Season tickets are now on sale for 2000. He keeps it alive along the near wall, and it's stolen away by Burke Kemper. Burke Kemper and Lippincott, 2 on 1. Burke Kemper to Lippincott. Oh, big save by Summer Hayes. McCadden, he chipped it into the zone. McCadden gets it back, shoots and scores! Menden, you know, there you go. You got to give him Green Bay credit. to carried the play throughout most of this period. And that has paid off for the Gamblers. Who take a 2-1 lead. Do they? No. Corey, now yep. here's a steal. Near steal by the force. Cooper gets it. Let's it go. Rebound. Leitner had it momentarily. Leitner feeds and he scores! And it beats Steve Summerhays. As it looked like he fed Garrett Allen. Now, where did that puck deflect off of? It's tough to see from this angle. We'll take a look at the up top angle. It deflected before it got to Garrett Allen. Crane was camped right in front of Ryan Massa. Now here comes Chase Grant. Grant and Allen, two on one. Grant with a shot. He scores! 10.50 to play in the hockey game. And it was Chase Grant who drove to the net, let a backhander go. Summerhays made the save. Grant threw the backhander back toward the net, and somehow it got behind Summerhays. And by the time the Green Bay goaltender saw it behind them, it crossed the goal line. They're looking for the rebound. They turn it over to Allen. Allen moving into the circle, shooting. Rock down in front. Grant looks for the rebound, and Grant can't pull the trigger. And Boy, Chase comes up with his helmet off, and again, there's our captain in there right in the middle of it, digging it up. Plays it up the far wall to Seckel. Reed Seckel into the zone, centers for Francis. Lee shoots and scores! Anders Lee has tied the hockey game with 49 seconds remaining. Wow! And it was easy pickets for the Green Bay Gamblers' leading score. There's not much to say about that again. Okay. They try to center in front for Condon. It's broken up. Sinclair shoots. Oh, it's Summer Hayes. In the ice. Yeah, nice opportunity again. That's what we got to do is keep the momentum going. And again, keep the pressure down in Green Bay zone. O'Rourke, he threw it out. Here's St. Clair, possible breakaway. St. Clair moving in. And Summer Hayes makes the save. Get in there and again. Oh, you got a piece of job. That defense did a good job of getting his stick on the play. Yeah, on he the puck, did. Excuse me. That was uh, Brian O'Rourke. The zone, Schmidt to McDermott. Back to Schmidt. Inside to Leitner, and he put it high and wide of the net. He had the whole near side of the net, and he rushed it a bit, Corey. Yeah, and he, he did. put it wide of the net. Here's Crane on a breakaway, and Massa makes the save. Oh, my. At the half wall, back to Karnhausen at the near point. Lee, top of the near circle. Moving to the slot. 
feeding Mikowski back in front to Fern. He shoots and scores! Ryan Fern has ended this hockey game with a goal a minute and 38 seconds into overtime session number three. The Gamblers win the hockey game 4-3 in triple overtime. And we will see you tomorrow night. No, we will see you tonight. Tonight. The Gamblers avoid elimination and defeat the Force 4-3 in triple overtime.